Giles, you can see that the main concentrations of population, the principal cities of England, lie here in this area of the Midlands and the industrial north. Apart from that, of course, there's London. And the this classroom scene is unusual. The teacher is English, but the children are Russian. And it took place deep in the heart of the Soviet Union. The children are only 14 years old, but they know enough English to absorb an impromptu geography lesson. The geography class was just one incident that happened when Weldon Action visited a provincial city in Russia to look at the way the Soviet education system really works. Empty area of the Norfolk Broads in East Anglia. To act as our reporter in Russia, we took along Peter Frank of Essex University, who trained originally as a teacher and taught in British schools for five years. Peter Frank now lectures in Soviet studies and speaks fluent Russian. His brief, to try and describe what going to school in the Soviet Union is really like. One way or another, I seem to have been in the educational system most of my life. First of all, of course, as a pupil, and then subsequently at a college of education, and after that I taught for several years in a number of secondary modern schools, and then rather belatedly went to university as a student, and became after that a university lecturer, and that's what I've been doing now for the past eight years. Moscow, like capital cities everywhere, is something of a showpiece, so we asked instead if we could film in Baronyesh, we wanted to see typical schools in an ordinary Russian situation, so we chose this provincial city, which is about the size of Manchester, and lies 400 miles southeast of Moscow. Baronyash has been largely rebuilt since the Second World War. We asked to look at schools in a big provincial city, and they sent us to Baronyash. And the obvious question must be, how typical is it? For cities of its kind in the USSR, and there are a lot like Baronyash, the answer, I think, must be very typical. What we saw tallies with other Western accounts and publications. In any case, the Soviet educational system is highly centralised. Essentially, the schools follow the same syllabus at the same pace all over the country. I've little doubt we saw the best schools in Voronezh, but I'm equally certain that wherever we went in the Soviet Union, the basic pattern would have been much the same. This is a communist society, in the sense that it has at its head a communist party of the Soviet Union. Its goal is to create a communist society. It doesn't claim that communism has yet been achieved, but this is what it's seeking to get in the future. Now, given that goal, then the party and the state have set certain priorities, they've set certain standards. There are certain things they want to get out of the educational system. Peter Frank asked Professor Markushevich, a former education minister, to define the Communist Party's role in education now. The Communist Party of the Soviet Union plays the principal and decisive role in the development of education in our country.